I first want to say thank you to everyone who has been praying for my father. Uh, if you hadn't heard the news, he had a uh, stroke on Friday. Uh, but the great thing is he's back home and has recovered. And Terry, I want to let you know this was an absolute miracle. Yeah, it, it wasn't. Even the doctor. Yeah, the doctor the, said uh, <laughs> this is a TPA miracle. And we'll tell you what that means. What, what is TPA? But part of the reason that I think, you know, God orchestrated this in such a way that everything that happened once signs started to present went the best possible way well, they could even, have gone. Even before signs started to present, um, my wife was at home and she normally goes to see my mother. And um, she was thinking about doing it that day and said, well, no, I'll put that off. I'll, I'll do that on Sunday after church. Mm -hmm. I'll go see her uh, and we'll have lunch together. And, and But uh, the Holy Spirit nudged her and said, no, go today. And then she put it off again. And he nudged again and said, no, go right now. So as she's getting into her car, my son, who rarely does this, but he, he picked up the phone, <laughs> imagine that, and called his mother and said, I want you to know that I'm at the train track by the house and there's a big freight train. Don't Not go. even knowing she was going to leave no, the house, right? I didn't know that. And don't go this way. So she went another route and she walks in and within two minutes of walking into the house, sees dad having the onset of symptoms where his speech wasn't right. Yeah. And he kept saying, I can't understand what's going on with me. This isn't, what, what is happening to me? And she had been educated because of my mother's stroke in what are the signs. And so she identified it immediately and we got help right then. And, and got him to a center where that's what they deal with. Right. Yeah. And I urge everyone, know where your stroke yeah. centers are. Know the signs, number one, and we'll tell you what those are in, in just a minute. Know those signs and then know where the stroke center is mm -hmm. and get there as soon as you can. Um, uh, don't time is brain cells and the so, faster you can go, the better. And within the structure of what you're talking about, that TPA that you mentioned, that drug was administered within really a brief period of time from the time of onset until he With, got to the Within December. 80 minutes, he got the TPA. And you have to do it within three hours. And so he was within that three hour period. And that breaks. But it, 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 it goes on. I mean, you know, we, we got the immediate transport, which was just amazing. All of that mm -hmm. fell into place. Uh, they get to the hospital. By the time dad hits the hospital, his right side is now paralyzed and he's not responsive anymore. Wow. So they put him through a CT scan to identify what type of stroke is it, because if it's bleeding on the brain, mm -hmm. uh, you can't administer the drug. Uh, you, ah. you can actually kill somebody by doing that. So you've got to go through the test. When they determined it was a clot, uh -huh. uh, that test came back positive. Then suddenly I appear on the scene. Uh, I, I'd been called and I raced, let's get to the hospital. I walk in exactly at the right time that they needed someone who had the authority to give permission wow. to give TPA. Another thing to pay attention to right there. Yeah. <laughs> have somebody have the authority to give You've permission. Got, you got to have the advance directive. You have to have the power of attorney. If I'm not competent, who can give mm -hmm. uh, permission for treatment? So I walked in right at the right. It was one of the, it was one of the strangest things where it was uh, one of these telemedicine facilities where the doctor wasn't in the room, he was on a screen. Uh, and it was, you know, they have these advanced stroke specialists available wow. to be on call for this kind of thing. And so he's not in the room, he's, he's looking at the screens and making the diagnosis. Uh, and he asked for permission to give TPA, explains bleeding on the brain, what, what the negative, the obvious negative, uh, gave permission. It, absolutely amazing. With 10 minutes, here he is, paralyzed on the right side, unresponsive, unresponsive. lying there, and I'm going, wow. Um, within 10 minutes of getting the drug, he is awake, alert, able to raise his arms, wow. raise his legs. I mean, talk about joy in that room. I'm sure. The ER staff said they'd never seen anything like that, any kind of, that kind of rapid recovery. 
And then the doctor said, this is a TPA miracle. So. Wow, and we are rejoicing here. <laughs> <laughs> and to add to it, uh, yesterday, uh, all this happens Friday. Yesterday, he's released from the hospital. He's now home uh, and doing well. And has his speech back, has full movement, and yeah. we're expecting full recovery. We have restricted him from riding the horse, can I just say? <laughs> And we're going to give him, we're going to give him some time off. Yeah. Amen. <laughs>